Hi, welcome to NASCOM Technology and Leadership Forum 2024. I'm Anisha Nayar Dhavan. We are picking the brains of senior technology leaders to find out how Gen AI is going to impact our lives, our lifestyles, and businesses in the years ahead. I am now joined by Mr. Vinay Pradhan, Country Manager and Senior Director, India and South Asia, Udemy. Thank you so much for joining us, Vinay. Pleasure is mine. So, how can the workforce now adapt to Gen AI work life that is coming up. Well, one thing is it, it's here and now, right? It's it's uh, something which uh, one can't wish away. Um, there there are different points of view around Gen AI uh, that you see across the globe, um, but I think the ad adoption itself of Gen AI, uh, when for example Chat GPT dawned upon mm -hmm. us in November 2022. Uh, Udemy itself as a platform saw a massive surge uh, in interest on courses around ChatGPT and Gen AI overall. Uh, to the extent that last year itself we saw about 4,400% increase in consumption of generative AI courses on our platform. And uh, in companies uh, that access Udemy about 60% um, uh, additional consumption there. So obviously uh, people themselves, uh, whatever said and done, they they've realized that you can't do without Gen AI and Gen AI skills and uh, they are proactively reaching out and trying to acquire those skills. Mm -hmm. So that's that's on the individual side as mm -hmm. such. Similarly on the companies uh, or the organization side um, in 2023 itself uh, globally about 100 billion dollars were invested in uh, skilling people uh, in companies on generative AI uh, and AI skills overall as such. And why this is happening is because um, AI is not impacting only one part of an organization as such, but across as such. Whether it is um, even industries, if you look at, it's not just the tech industry, but if you look at manufacturing, banking, financial services, telecom, all industry sectors are getting impacted. So it is a must have right now in mm -hmm. order to have people who are skilled on Gen AI. Of course, there are various layers there in terms of the kind of skills that one would want to uh, build there. So that's the uh, next question. What are the skills required? Sure. You said you know 100 billion have been spent in skilling for AI. Yes. Who are the companies who are doing this? Because you know, in an organization, people are like, oh, another training, tick kar dete. Is this the attitude? Not really. And and like I said, uh, what has happened is, uh, I think it became so all pervasive because of the fact that something like Chat GPT individuals started trying it out on their mm. own, right? It was not something which was being mandated by companies as such. Mm. Um, also, what happened was uh, the possibilities in terms of leveraging Gen AI um, to not only improve improve lives but also. Uh, for people to become more productive, productive. efficient themselves, mm -hmm. uh, do the jobs better, maybe even save time mm -hmm. on certain mm -hmm. tasks, uh, which became very attractive, mm -hmm. right? And then, of course, deeper sort of uh, solutions around creating better customer experience. Uh, the fact that natural language processing became such much more uh, uh, feasible now, uh, which created a lot of possibilities where you could actually interact with a machine without realizing that you're actually interacting machine. with the machine mm -hmm. as such. So skills really, if you really look at it, actually the use cases are four um, as such that we've seen so far. Um, uh, so far. Mm. The first one is for the leaders themselves because leaders today are grappling with uh, how is it that they can actually adopt AI for their businesses. Mm. Um, how will Gen AI be um, basically from a risk point of view, how will that impact their business? Mm. Um, Aspects related to ethical and responsible AI is something which leaders are grappling with. Um, also generally understanding the basics of Gen AI and then the correlation with business models, mm. right? So it's disruptive, mm. transformative, but they, as leaders, they need to actually lead that transformation. So and that's the first about level. It. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the first level. Yeah. The second is across the organizations, uh, all employees in a company, uh, again, general understanding of generative AI, mm. how they can use it, what does it mean, um, that is the second level of skills, which is the basic understanding. Mm. Then there are two which are very targeted that mm. have emerged. One is for the technical folks, the people who are actually going to leverage Gen AI um, mm. as a technology to build new products, new solutions. Uh, where they need deeper skilling 
um, as Which such includes? on multiple tools that are available in the market. Okay. Everyone knows about Chat GPT, but there are many more the many more tools that are available. Prompt engineering. Exactly. So that brings in prompt engineering. Hmm. That brings in understanding of specific tools, whether hmm. they are text to video tools or uh, tools that help them uh, create responses in multiple languages okay. when it comes to customer interface, etc. So the tech part is the hmm. third one. The fourth is very interesting. This is where it actually gets into the functional domains, whether it is marketing, finance, supply chain, um, in terms of how HR, hmm. how they can leverage Gen AI to say improve their predictive analytics capabilities, um, how they can actually again bring in better efficiencies in their functions. Uh, can they actually become more innovative leveraging Gen AI? Mm -hmm. So those aspects actually are the fourth really if you really look at um, in terms of skills, skills. Uh, that are being built. At Udemy, are you using uh, Gen AI to make your platform more interactive or uh, for your trainers so that they save their time using Gen AI? What's happening at in, on your platform? Oh yes. So uh, interesting that you ask because uh, uh, while yes we help people acquire skills, we are also leveraging Gen AI very effectively um, in multiple areas. So to start with our instructors uh, mm. that are there who are also subject matter experts, they bring in the knowledge, mm. um, the speed at which they can actually generate content which can then help train millions of users. 64 million year, uh, users globally, demands are varying mm. as such. So how can they actually churn out content at a much faster pace, which is where Gen AI tools uh, come in handy for them. Also um, creating, say for example, quizzes and knowledge tests and assessments, which they can use a Gen AI tool rather than doing it themselves. Okay. Uh, so that their bandwidth is freed up to actually bring in more um, courses and more knowledge uh, elements there. So that's one part. Mm. The second is where uh, we are creating better uh, user experiences uh, through, uh, in fact, as we speak, we are building a, a learning assistant. Uh, say, for example, I am an individual mm. and when I am learning, many a times online learning, you don't have anyone to go to. Uh, and answer your I questions. Need, exactly. If yeah. you have questions, if you have doubts or if you even want to know, uh, am I actually taking the right approach? Is there another way of uh, learning mm. the same skill? So the Gen AI assistant would be like your buddy who would give you that guidance um, and uh, help you and handhold you through that entire journey. Uh, so that's the second one. The third is where cohort based learning, where there are groups of people who are learning together. Mm -hmm. uh, that actually gives a lot of opportunity to understand behaviors, the trends in terms of what is it that people are talking about in terms of challenges, etc. Where a Gen AI tool can actually monitor those conversations and then give certain analytics mm -hmm. around uh, what are the trending sort of conversations there, challenges that are emerging, individual insights uh, on those uh, the cohort participants as such. Um, so multiple use cases really, uh, but the entire premise is about saying how can we actually make learning more personalized, uh, more impactful, and more intuitive, uh, and more intuitive. All right, uh, when I 2024 and beyond, what do you think will be the evolution of Gen AI and the impact it's going to have across industries, our lives? How do you see it? Look, there are various studies which talk about various kinds of impact. Um, if Even if you look at even impacts on jobs, there are new jobs that are coming up while there is this fear about some jobs They're going away. Lost, yeah. But there are many more jobs that are going to open up. Uh, World Economic Forum is talking about uh, 60% of the workforce uh, having to actually reskill by 2027, right? And uh, this is essentially happening because of the possibilities that are being seen and the evolution because Gen AI is constantly evolving. There are new tools that are coming in, new applications which will keep coming up. Uh, I think if one has to really look at it in terms of how this is going to evolve, Security and the ethics part is always going to be there in terms of how much of Gen AI uh, adoption is going to happen. But what I see is that it's always going to be what we call as collaborative intelligence. Collaborative intelligence is essentially collaboration between artificial intelligence and, and human, human intelligence. Yeah. So how that interplay between humans and machines is going to really enhance our lives, uh, enhance the way businesses operate is going to be the interesting part to really see and how newer skills keep like prompt engineering nobody had even heard of it mm. just about a year ago but that has emerged as a skill uh, there are others as well uh, that have uh, come up as such so newer skills will come up uh, 
but i think it's more about that shift also which is happening which is beca- becoming necessitated which is about creating a skills based economy or a skills based organization at an organizational level where it's not about degrees but it's the skills value. that you possess beyond the skill you have to you deliver the value <laughs> exactly <laughs> So Thank skills you. will be the new currency. Yes, that that is something I hope will put the pressure off the students in schools. Ki get your marks, get your degrees, and more people will start thinking of skills. Yeah, I hope that happens. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, whenever speaking Thank with you. us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you.